What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to scroll pages by simply tilting your phone. This does require that you're rooted, so if you need any help with that, just head to the full tutorial to link in the description below this video. But the app behind this one is called Tilt Scroll, so open up your Play Store app and search that very name to get it installed. And when you're ready, go ahead and open the app so we can check out the setup process. From this main screen here, you'll need to tap the power button icon to start the service. Then the app will ask for super user privileges, so grant it those. After that, you'll see a progress message that shows the various components that have been started. It also gives you a brief rundown of how to use the service, but I'll cover that myself here in a bit. So from here, tap the widget tab and press show the widget. This is how you turn on tilt recognition, which would otherwise be constantly activated. But if you're not a fan of having this widget present on all screens at all times, there's a nice workaround for that. By enabling this second option, you can hide this little guy by default, then bring it back up by giving your device a quick shake. Next up, you should take a quick trip into settings to familiarize yourself with the various options. Under General, you'll find options for starting the service at boot, as well as a couple of different shake activation methods. Back out and under Gesture, you can adjust the sensitivity of both the shake and tilt gestures. Finally, under Scroll, there's a way to determine which directions the tilt gesture will cause a given window to scroll. By default, it's set to both horizontal and vertical, but I'd recommend changing this one if you can. A lot of times, the service will misinterpret an up or down gesture as side to side, or vice versa. So if your main use would be for scrolling web page, I'd set this to vertical. But if you're using this primarily to read ebooks or something of that nature, I'd set it to horizontal. Otherwise, if you want to use it to scroll in any direction, you can obviously leave it set to both, but the learning curve with the gestures will be a bit higher. And with all that set up, go ahead and open an app that you would like to test it out on. In the meantime, I'm going to switch to a location with more headroom so I can show you the gestures in action a bit better. Alright, so to start, expand the widget, then use the play button to start the gesture detection service. After that, just tilt your device in the direction that you want it to scroll, then tilt it in the opposite direction to begin scrolling. To pause scrolling, simply do the same gesture in reverse. From there, you can change directions easily. But remember that the first direction you tilt the device determines the scroll direction, and away from you means down, while toward you means up. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!